celebration video, take one. Hey YouTube, um, in honor of reaching our subscription goals only after two days, I thought we would do a new video today of an unboxing of a new little toy that I got. Yes, we have more subscribers from what I understand than Dabu77 and BP Earthwatch put together. We have zero after two days. How many that is? I have no idea. All I know is more than they have. So welcome again to another presentation of Gville. And without further ado, we're going to see what the new toy is. Okay, I'm using my iPhone on the tripod, I'm going to go ahead and show you why, one of the reasons that I bought this because I want to do some macro photography and the tripod that I currently have even set on the countertop it just doesn't really work too well so one of the things I liked about this is I'll show you so what we do is first you undo the ball mount from the top set that aside actually that would make a pretty good little macro pod by itself because you can just set this down on the table and pivot your camera any way you would like. So that's kind of cool. Learn something new, teaching you. Teach you, you teach me, we'll all teach each other. Okay, so once the ball head is off the top, you counterclockwise, oh, I'm sorry, got ahead of myself. So there's, there's a weight hook down here at the bottom, which allows you to put a sandbag um, or something to add more stability to your tripod in case it gets bumped or just when you're if you're depressing the shutter button you don't want any shake you can put some weight there which I thought is nice or wind so you turn the hook mount on the bottom of the center column counterclockwise and it comes out like so you set that aside you loosen the center mount you rotate this 180 degrees so now up is down, down is up. Insert it through the bottom, like so. Tighten this. Go ahead and attach the ball mount back to the tripod, like so. And look at that! Tell me that's not cool. So now, I've got my iPhone down here. I could turn it any which way I want to. Now I would do that with my DSLR, but I'm using that so you can get some quality video. But as you can see, now you've got a great macro shooting composition out of this tripod. That's one of the few features that I thought was really cool about this tripod. Now I got this at B&H Photo. I'm not affiliated with them. They're not sending me any free stuff yet. Um, but with we can get up to seven subscriptions, maybe they'll send me, I don't know, something to cleanse my lens with. Who knows? So that's one of the cool things that I thought it was uh, worth noting on this tripod, which was one of the reasons I bought it because I want to do some macro photography. And we can talk about that a little bit later. So I'm going to cut right here and see what else I may or may not need to talk about this. Okay, and some of the other reviews I watched, I guess one of the complaints that they had on this particular tripod was the ball mount head and securing it with the lever to lock um, the camera in place, especially if you have a tele telephoto lens that's adding some weight. This thing's a dream. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, people. Don't worry about that. Look at this. I just got my hands on it. Loosen the ball head. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't have any weight on it, but it doesn't matter. Cinch that down. Look at that. Sorry, <laughs> not going anywhere. So what they were talking about, I don't know. But so far, I'm a fan of this. And then the other thing that I really like about this is the legs. Let's see here. I'm still learning. Oh, my autofocus is going nuts. Sounds like. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Maybe I shouldn't use autofocus. I don't know. I'm still learning all this camera stuff. The other thing I liked about this tripod are the legs have a bunch of different settings, which I don't know the degrees I would have to look. 
but it goes all the way out to flat so when this is down all the way um, or upside down you can get low so see this I mean who doesn't like legs that can do that now monopod I've seen it used as a monopod I don't know let's try it extend this one I, I know you just extend one of the legs all the way out so let's do that there we go and there you have it I guess there's your monopod if I wanted to shoot mono it would be pretty easy to do by just adjusting this and then I've got my mono so there you go folks this is the Oban AC441 with the BA111 ball head for $139 my first DSLR tripod I'm already loving it I haven't even got it out in the field yet so maybe we'll do a field review but um b &H photo hey I like those guys um and also Adorama photo as well I'm sure you're all aware of that so anyway I don't know if this gave you any more insight to any of the other views that are out there however none of them that I saw showed that you can reverse the center column and get it as low as I want to say 8 inches from whatever you're shooting for macros so until next time thanks for tuning in and again we hit our milestone of zero subscribers in two days hey can't beat that it's beer 30 folks enjoy your day and we'll see you next time peace